Oh, we're rolling. Oh, well, aloha. Welcome to Choose Aloha. I'm Tony Silva of the Brothers. Aloha, my champions of aloha. I'm Auntie Dawn. And, and together, together, we're Choose Aloha, aloha champions, champions with you. you. It's all about aloha. You know, last time we discussed the big I am's or affirmations. The best part is that I am's make life great now. It's not when something finally happens. It's a win now. I am winning. Yeah, you. Mm -hmm. Today we'll level up again. It's a VIP, very important project because you're a VIP, very important person. Today we're talking about intentions. Intentions is the roadway to get from your values to your goals. I mean, it's great if you want to value Aloha, mm -hmm. but how do you really actually become Aloha? It's great to want to value being an influencer. But how do you actually become an influencer or a goat, greatest of all time, or the best you? Ah, mm -hmm. today we'll level up with intentions. So I'll tell you what, first let's get ready, set, go with a mindful moment. As Auntie Don said, it's important because you're important. So find a comfortable position to sit or stand, close your eyes and focus your attention on the feeling of anticipation. Like being really excited for something good like your birthday or gift you really want. Focus on feeling anticipation for one minute. Inhale. Exhale. Very good. Inhale. Exhale. Nice. Focus on anticipation. Inhale. And exhale. Very good. Thank you for taking time for yourself, for choosing to be powered on present here and now. Next, it's time to get that goat, becoming the greatest of all time, or in your case, G-Y-O-A-T, greatest you of all time. Hey, G-Y-O-A-T, <laughs> level up, level infinity, boom. Boom, here's the deal. It's the highest level of gaming, living, and power to be an active participant in your life. Not just letting life happen. Imagine a video game of just waiting and waiting and waiting and doing nothing. Soon, game ooh, over. Yeah, it doesn't work, Don. No. No. When you know your values, making intentions and setting meaningful goals, you're engaged, activated, and making choices for your greatest future in the greatest way. Setting an intention to be grateful is a great start. Why? Setting an intention makes it a priority. Then we mindfully focus on it happening. Mm -hmm. That's a power motivator right there to yes. help make a desire a destiny. Boomka. Boomka, yeah, you. Today, we'll review and evaluate the intentions we set. Here's the action plan. Okay. Go back to the intentions that you set during our courage lessons. Mm -hmm. You might have written them into your G journal, or you can start a new set right now. Here are some prompts to help you. Have your intentions changed at all? Why or why not? Have you noticed setting intentions has helped you or made a difference in your life? Set a new intention that focuses on gratitude. It's simple, but not easy, mm. but it is worth it because you're worth it. You may notice feeling more focused, more on, and more accomplished, kind of like you're winning because you are. Mm, very good. After going back and reviewing our courage intentions and knowing now what we've learned, write down a gratitude intention in your G journal. Maybe like creating a gratitude gateway in your room or home. Or giving thanks for every meal, not just at Thanksgiving mm, once a year. Very nice. Plus, you can post it or inspire others, even at a level of accountability to help you reach your goals and fulfill your intentions. Mmm, accountability. You know, one year when I was on the radio as a jock, uh, I joined this Fat to Fit challenge with my co-host mm -hmm. in the morning radio show. Talk about accountability. Ah. Thousands of listeners heard every time we how much weight we lost or gained, how much times we went to the gym or didn't, and when we ate healthy or didn't. Mm. It was a game changer, I swear. I lost 20 pounds. Accountability is huge. Yeah, absolutely. Same here. I made intentions to run a marathon. 
I mean, that's 26 miles and some change, right? At the time, I weighed more than I do now, and I had a torn meniscus in my knee. Uh, but I joined a running group, got a coach, and accountability helped me complete a few marathons and cross many finish lines. Yeah. Accountability takes you to the advanced level. Level up. We dare you. Double dare you. That's it for us today. Teachers, there are more ideas on our website curriculum for social media and Google Classroom, or even more teacher toolbox resources. Catch you next time from myself, Auntie Dawn. And myself, Tony Silva of the Bratas. Keep, Keep choosing, choosing Aloha, because Aloha, Aloha always wins. Aloha. 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 Da, 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 da. Aloha shaka. Oh.